In this video, I'm going to show you how you can visualize quadrant charts using the scatter chart visual in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together with an example so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So quadrant charts are basically charts that are split into four equal sections. You plot your values in the charts in order to visualize them more effectively. It's especially useful if you have more than one parameter and you want to measure your values by. Here's an example of a quadrant chart. This analysis is published by Gartner on a yearly basis, and it plots how each company is rated based on their BI strategy. Each company is plotted on the graph based on the completeness of their vision and their ability to execute. Based on their rating, it then visualizes which quadrant they should be classified as. So overall, a great way to visualize this data. And today I want to see if we can visualize this using the scatter charts in Power BI. So let's start with the data. So in this table, we're listing out all the companies or all the softwares that Gartner has plotted into the quadrant, uh, magic quadrant for 2021. And then we categorize them or we will plot them in the quadrant chart using these two columns, the executes and the vision columns. So let's start by creating and adding the scatter chart first of all. And let's bring in our columns. So the company, the executes and the vision. So for this to work, I think we need to have the vision on the x-axis and executes on the y-axis. Let's start by changing the title. Let's change this to say Gartner Magic Quadrant for 2021. And then let's also change the properties for our axes. So the titles would need to be, uh, what is this one? This one is execute now this is completeness of vision and then for the y-axis this would be ability to execute and then what we need to do is to remove the grid lines because we won't need them anymore and then you'll notice that it's actually auto zoomed so we actually don't want that we want the grid to start from zero all the way down here so we can see the full quadrants we can control that here so we can set the minimum for both of these values to let's say zero that will start from zero and then the maximum we need to increase a little bit because you can see power bi because its vision and ability to execute is 100 you can't see the full plot so i'm just going to increase this a little bit so let's say 105 maximum 105 so you can now see it here as a plot and then now that's done we can simply just hide the axes because we don't really need to see that we just need to leave the titles to show but not the axes let's now then try to change the marker color so I think we can leave it as a circle for now. That's okay. And we can just change it to something else, like maybe an orange. We should also try to show or visualize the labels. So what they are or what what are, what are those being plotted in our quadrants. Uh, they are quite condensed. So I'm just gonna make the font slightly smaller here. Then let's split this into the quadrants that we need. And for that, we can use the constant lines from the analytics pane. So we're gonna add a constant line here. We're gonna say X axis for the line. We're gonna leave it, or we're gonna change it to solids. We're gonna make it uh, something like this, like a, 
like a line and then we're going to set the value to be bang on the middle and we will do the same thing for the y-axis constant line I'm gonna do that so the line would be like this solids and then the value would be 50 bang on the middle so now the last thing that we need is to label the quadrants themselves so if you look back at this Gartner quadrant that we have here we have the top quadrant challengers then leaders then niche players and then visionaries so unfortunately the option that we have here is limited to mark the quadrants themselves but it is definitely possible so let's go back to the x-axis constant line and let's add a few well actually not here let's let's add a few but not on this one let's add it on the y-axis constant line so we're gonna name this one let's say challengers and in this case we want to have have it here right in the middle once again but this time we're gonna make the line disappear so 100% because all we want from this is the label so we're gonna say show me the label give me that label and don't show the value just show me the name of it so this will be the name that we set for our constant line so I'm gonna just name it challengers just select the tick icon over here and you can see now it's marked as challengers and we simply just need to do the same thing for the rest of the other quadrants so let's start by adding a new one I think we need one for leaders line would be 50 again transparent line data label showing let's see showing the name instead and then this would be leaders showing on the right hand side so you can see now that's leaders quadrant let's add another one here for what's the other one visionaries and then we also have niche players Let's add that as a 50, transparent again on the data label. We need to do and show it below. And then we want to show the name. Probably we'll just need to push, push this down a little bit. Here we go. And then have the color. Let's add the last one. Visionaries. B49. Show as name something like that. So there we go. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start visualizing quadrant charts using the scatter chart visual in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.